Odie Loke Sports Info here, back with another vid for you guys. Yeah, y'all, hit that subscribe, like, bell icon so y'all can be notified of this real because y'all know Odie Loke keeps it real. Yeah, y'all, so I think Earl Spence Jr., he should take a tune-up before he try to hop in the ring with Danny Garcia if he's going to hop in the ring with Danny Garcia, right? I think he should take a tune-up, and this is why, right? Danny Garcia just finished fighting in January, right? So, if Earl Spence Jr. come back in July, it would only be, what, six months? Six months since Danny Garcia been out the ring, right? But it would be 10 months, almost a year, since Earl Spence Jr. been in the ring, right? So... That's a setup fight. And if you guys don't know about boxing, right? Because it got a lot of casual fans running around. If you guys don't know about boxing, Earl Spence Jr., he's going to be rusty as hell when he come back to boxing. He's going to be rusty, right? And it might take a few rounds, you know, to get into the groove with Danny Garcia, right? But by that time, it probably be too late. See, people, they act like that Earl Spence Jr., he's a good mover, right? That he got good feet. He don't. Sean Porter and Keith Thurman got better movement, right, than Earl Spence Jr. And that's a fact. So, if Danny Garcia can time, you know, Sean Porter, if he can time Keith Thurman, he's going to be able to time Earl Spence Jr., right? And Earl Spence Jr. would have been out the ring for 10 months, right? Okay, he probably went through sparring and all that, you know, whatever. But he been out the ring for 10 months. And Danny Garcia do hit hard, right? He do got a knockout punch. And Earl Spence Jr., he do get hit, right? So... I want people to really understand, you know, if Earl Spence Jr., if he fight Danny Garcia. It's a setup fight, right? Earl Spence Jr. will probably go into the fight, you know, feeling himself, thinking he's on top of the world, and then Danny Garcia will catch him with something hot, right? And... It'll be a whole different ball game in the ring. For real. See, people, they don't understand that Danny Garcia has great timing. Not good timing. He have great timing. Great timing. Right? And Danny Garcia got a good left hook. He do. Right? He probably don't be looking at you when he throw it, but, hey, it's a good left hook. And he times it great. Right? And Earl Spence Jr. is coming off, you know, 10 months, you know, out of the ring. And if he jump in the ring with a Danny Garcia, who's a big puncher, right, who can time him, it will be a bad night for Earl Spence Jr. Because he will be rusty. I don't care what nobody say. He will be rusty. He's coming off a 10-month layoff. He will be rusty. So, the smart thing for Earl Spence Jr. to do is get him a tune-up. Because if he don't, it's going to be another upset of 2020. Another upset of 2020, y'all.
I'm gone.